Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Shaw of Math Plus Academy, and this math treat is called Milk Rates. It's from a book called Thinking Mathematically by John Mason. It's one of the best books I've ever found on problem solving. I actually have not fully explored this problem, but I am excited to share it with you as a math treat. Imagine you have a milk crate. A milk crate is a little uh, plastic crate and you can place milk bottles in it. This is a top-down view of a six by six milk crate. You can put 36 bottles in here, one in each of those little unit squares. And what we're going to do is try to see if we can place 14 milk jugs in here so that in every row and in every column, there are an even number of milk jugs. All right, so let's just start putting some in so you can kind of see what happens and then I'll let you figure this out. So maybe I put in a jug right there. Well, now this first row has one and the first column has one. Those are odd numbers. So I want to get an even number in every row and every column. So I'll add another milk jug right there. Now I've got two. Good news, this column has two. But now both of these columns have one and both of those numbers are, of course, odd. So I keep filling this up, trying to keep two, you know, two, four, six, whatever it is, zero, I guess, all those even numbers in all the rows and columns. So I notice this is odd. I'll add another bottle there. That makes two in this row. That's good, making some progress. But now I've got one in this column. Uh-oh, what do I do next? Well, I notice I can put, there's a one here and a one there. If I put a jug here, that'll make two in this row and two in this column. That's progress. Now I've got four jugs in there and I've got evens in every row and column. But of course the challenge was, can you fit 14 in here where you have an even number in all the rows and columns? So that's your first challenge. Uh, you might think it's impossible. I don't know. Try a lot of things, experiment, look for some strategies that you can use to move bottles around. How does that affect these numbers? Uh, and see if you can solve that. 14 bottles, even in every row, even in every column. If you figure that out, try more bottles. Can you fit 16, 18, 17? Will it ever work with an odd number of bottles where you can get evens in all the rows and columns? I don't know. Is there a minimum bottles, number of bottles that will work and a maximum that will work for this grid? If you think this grid is a little too tricky, try smaller square crates, so maybe a five by five crate or a four by four crate. Uh, again, will it work if there's an odd number of rows and columns in your crate? I don't know. So just play around with this and see how many different things you can discover with this idea that you always want to have an even number in every row and every column. So that is the milk crate math treat, a really cool little problem solving challenge for you. And as always, just have fun playing with the math.